Algebra 1, number 1.3a, we're talking about using exponents and exponential notation in this video. When a product has the same factors, it's called a power. So if we have 2 to the third power, that is this 2 with the little 3 exponent up here, and the 2 is the base number, that means the 3 is telling us how many times to multiply this factor, this base number, to itself. So it's saying we need three twos, one, two, three. Two times two is four, times two is eight. Two to the third power equals eight. And if we had x as a variable to the third power, it means x times x times x. And when we write an expression with exponents, we say it's written in exponential notation. a to the n power is read as a to the nth, or a to the nth power, or even a to the n. And it just means that the variable is taking place of the unknown number and it's being squared. This is a squared, or a times a. And if it had a little 3, it would be cubed, like a times a times a. Now, if you really don't know about exponents and you don't remember covering it in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, my advice is to go back and watch the 6th grade math video, number 1.1. It was the beginning of the 6th grade year. It's got a video about exponents and it's a very good video that explains exponents to someone who doesn't know anything about them. And there's a link in this video's description to get you there, okay? So it'll be easy for you to find it. When we see 2x cubed, or 2x to the third power, it means 2 times x times x times x. It doesn't include the 2. When we see 2x in parentheses with the little 3 exponent on the outside, it means 2x times 2x times 2x because the parentheses tells us they're both included. See? When it's just on the outside with the x, it's just the x that's multiplied to itself three times. When it's in parentheses, the whole thing is multiplied to itself three times. When we see 2 to the 1, it means 2. There's just 1. It's not multiplied to itself. Just as if we saw a to the second power is a times a. If it was just a to the 1, there would just be 1a. So any number variable with an exponent of 1 is just that number. It keeps its identity, okay? And the exponent only affects the number or variable that it is next to, or the expression inside the parentheses it's next to. If we saw 4 plus 2 to the second power, it means 4 plus 2 times 2. The order of operations tells us to solve the exponents before adding. So we'd have to do the exponents first, 2 times 2, and then add the 4. So it's not 4 plus 2, which is 6 to the second power. No, no, no. Order of operations says we have to do the exponents first, don't we? So if we had 2 times 3 to the second power, that means we have 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18 and our answer is 18. But if it's inside parentheses, that means it affects everything inside because we do in front inside of parentheses first. That's PEMDAS. That's order of operations. Doing inside the parentheses, we get 2 times 3 is 6. So now we have 6 to the second power. 6 times 6 is 36. So that's very different. See what happens with the parentheses? If we have 3 times 2x squared, or 2x to the second power, it means 3 times 2 times x times x. Only the x is to the second power. See that? If we have 3 times 2x squared, that means the 2x are included with the exponent, so it means 3 times 2x times 2x. See how the parentheses includes it with the exponent? If we've got 5 times a times a times a, that's 5a to the third power. See how it only affects the three a's? And if we have 6 times 6 times a, then we have 6 to the second power a. See? If we have three 2's multiplied together and then two b's, that's 2 to the third power b squared. See? 2 to the third power because there's three of them and b squared because there's two of them. If we had 8 times 8 times x times x times x times y, there's two 8's, so that's 8 squared. There's three x's, so that's x to the third power, and there's one y. We get 8 to the second power, x to the third power, y or it could be read as 8 squared x cubed y. See? Now, if you're very curious about zero exponents, what happens when there's a zero up there, we're going to talk about zero exponents in chapter 5. 
that's a couple hundred pages away. But if you want to watch the grade 8 math video number 2.1e, I talked about the zero exponent rule in there, and there's a link in this video's description. Okay? So we're going to continue on talking about exponents, and in our next video, 1.3b, we're going to talk about evaluating expressions. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. Keep your chin up. We're going to make it. Bye.